very suppressed immune system. Now let's talk about the adrenal gland and the two most common diseases of the adrenal gland and how we are going to treat those diseases. Now the first one is Addison's disease. It's basically an inadequate amount of glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids in the body. Well the second disease is Cushing syndrome and as we know Cushing syndrome happens when a, when a person's body is exposed to too much of the hormone cortisol. So how do we treat our patient with Addison's disease? First, we need to restore the fluid electrolyte balance, right? We need to give the patient a diet high in sodium and low in potassium. Again, diet high in sodium and low in potassium. And we need to replace the adrenal hormones. And this would involve replacing the cortisol, sometimes in the form of hydrocortisone tablets or prednisone tablets. But we have to be careful because the side effects of the steroids or corticosteroids that we give to the patient can have adverse reactions such as hyperglycemia, and the patient can also be increased in susceptibility to um, infection, so they're immunosuppressed. It can also cause hypokalemia and edema. Therefore, as the nurse, it is our responsibility to monitor the vital signs, the electrolytes, and also the glucose level of the patients. In, in regard to see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's all, nursingnotes.com, or just click the link below.